Hello, I'm Matt. Welcome back to Workshop. Mike at MNF Woodshop is doing a zombie weapon challenge. I love making things and anything zombie related. So, let's get started. Over the years, I've done many hours of research watching zombie movies and TV shows. And I've come to the conclusion the perfect weapon needs to be able to do two things. It needs to have long reach and be able to swing it, and it needs to be able to stab with it. So I've decided to make an axe that's about as long as a walking stick and on the end of it is going to have a spike for stabbing as well. I searched my local car boot sale for an old axe head and came up with nothing. But I managed to find a lovely hand forged one on eBay. I also tried to find some hickory to use as the handle but in the UK it seems to be really hard to get. So I've gone for a piece of ash. The spike I have for the end is actually designed for walking sticks, for walking down icy paths. But I'm sure it worked work just as well for driving into the head of a zombie. Normally you want the bottom of the axe handle to have a nice swell to feel good in the palm. But as mine is going to have the spike on, I can't really go for a traditional design, so I need it to taper down to the spike. I'm using the bandsaw to cut out the basic shape of the handle. I knew those hours of watching Duresta videos would pay off one day. I've never really used the bandsaw to try and carve things before, but it works surprisingly well, and is easy. To finesse the shape a little more, and to get rid of all the bandsaw marks, I use a rasp. And to get rid of all the marks from the rasp, I use my random orbital sander. Before I can fit the axe head, I just need to cut a slot for the wedge to go in. Now's the moment of truth, will it fit? Went on fine first time. Things don't normally work like that. I made the wedge from walnut for the only reason that I had it laying around and I think the contrasting colour looks cool. And we all know the most important thing in a zombie weapon is it's got to look cool. The vice didn't want to hold it when I was doing this, but I couldn't put it on the floor because I didn't want to damage the taper I put on the end. Speaking of tapers, the spike goes on with just some epoxy. It came with one hole drilled in it for a screw to go into. I decided before applying the flammable boiled linseed oil finish, I'd get the sharpening out of the way. I'm not going to do a jimmy and prove how sharp I got it by shaving my arm. You'll just have to take my word for it. I thought of many ways to describe what I'm doing here, but I decided just to leave it and then we move on to the next thing. Glad that's over with. The final step is just to apply a coat of boiled linseed oil. Many other people have done this challenge and I've put the links to all their videos in the description so please check them all out. That's it all done, all I need now is the apocalypse. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.